Well, um, you know, you can see after watching uh, UTEP play that, you know, while they were able – four different games, they've lost four games by four points and fewer. You know, they're a team that can hang around. That big boy on the inside's a load. Uh, you know, he can – he has the ability to get that ball in the hole. They got plenty of shooters, and they're a good team. You know, I thought our guys, uh, for the most part, you know, we didn't shoot it great today. Uh, but there's a couple areas, if you can find ways to win, it just gives yourself a chance. Number one, if you win that turnover, turnover ratio. And for the second time in a row, um, we have less than 12. We go nine, nine assists, 12 assists, nine turnovers today for the second game in a row under 12. If you can win that free, free throw war, even though we didn't shoot free throws great, I thought we were nine, we were nine for 19 for 29. But they only make, you know, 11 or nine. We make 19. And win the rebound war. We won that, won that by nine. So when you win those three categories, it gives you a little bit more leeway, maybe not to shoot it great. Even though the second half we shoot 52%, we just didn't shoot it great from the field. You know, I thought the second half at halftime, it was um, 18 to 10 points in the paint. Second half, it's 30 to um, 36 to 30, which means the second half is 26 to 12 points in the paint. They're up at halftime, 18 to 10 points in the paint. We finished the game 36 to their 30 in the paint. That's a huge stat again. Um, when you don't shoot it great, you got to throw it at that, throw it that paint. You got to drive it that paint. Uh, but again, um, came out of the second half, kind of put a foot on them a little bit, got the lead, and uh, found a way to separate it and win the game. You know, um, you know, I think you look start with the point guard play, number one. You know, Monte had that's two games in a row. He'll be he was seven and one and seven and two, so he's fourteen and three. That's a, that's a good place to start with right there. It's a hit of the snake offensively. Um, you know, we probably haven't, you know, turned it over in transition like we've always done that some. We haven't done that as much. But it all starts with that point guard play. You know, being able to initiate the offense, maybe create some easier plays for, for your teammates. Rick, uh, it's not easy to get a double-double in college basketball. And Charles, I think, now has five in the last six games. Are his numbers showing how solid he's played with him? No, he's, you know, he gets his rebounds no matter if he's scoring. Um, you know, he's got the ability to score at basketball, even though tonight, probably one of his least efficient nights, 14 shots and missed some around that rim. But, you know, Charles plays hard. Thought he turned around tonight. That big boy kept him getting in that paint. He turned around and shot a few jump shots tonight. A couple turnarounds, a couple fallaways and all that because he couldn't move that big boy uh, at all. So he's got a, diff a lot of different ways he can score, but he's playing well for us. That was a big boy. You know, we went at him one on one. Uh, he has a hard time consistently scoring over, you know, a guy like Charles. Uh, but if you don't have a guy like Charles, you can see where he got 20 and 20 at Marshall. Whatever it was, he had 22 and 20, wasn't it, Zach? Yeah. 22 points, 20 rebounds last game at Marshall. Then you can see now after watching him play, uh, he is a load down there. Um, we covered down on him a lot more in the second half. We didn't let him go one-on-one -on -one with those people as much because he don't want to pass it. He wants to catch it and go score it. And I thought that helped us some. And playing zone, second half, a little bit more, helped him from getting deep post catch-ups to catches too. What, speaking of the zone, what did you think about the zone? You, you know, it, it, I think it did two things. The first half, first half, remember, it was 18 to 10 points in the paint. Second half is 26-12. I thought the zone eliminated two things a lot more. Pass to him in the paint and that bounce because their offense is dribble drive um, and throw it to the big boy. And I thought the zone, you know, helped eliminate both those things a little bit more. What were they doing right defensively to limit Tavion on the six points? You know, 
But Tavion, you know, every game, here's what we got to remember. Last year, he's the fourth guy in the scouting port. When the other opponent got ready to play, the best defender got Darius. You know, he's the fourth piece. Now, you go on the scouting port, who does the best defender in the perimeter get? Tavion. So I don't know if as much as anything they did, uh, except he's drawn a uh, good defender every night. Um, and some nights, you know, he had some good looks, just didn't go in. He had some good looks. Uh, but again, even though when he's not scoring points, he does other things to help you win. Just like getting nine rebounds tonight. Uh, he's always going to defend. So when he doesn't score, naturally puts a little bit more pressure on us offensively. But again, he's one of those guys that keeps adding to no matter what. Where do you think your team's getting tougher? You know, my guy, I think it's good that we're able to grind out and win close games and, you know, be in tight games and find ways to pull them out. And we've done that in three or four of these last games, haven't we? There's been a lot of close ones, and we found ways to make winning plays when I mean, we've had to. Uh, but again, uh, you hear me say this all the time, everybody's good at home. Uh, take that next step, you got to go on the road. you got to go do it on the road. Uh, and a small margin for error on that road. And we get an opportunity to again to go on the road next week twice. Monte, you know, uh, I think he's been for sure the best he's been all year long for us. Like I said, I think he's getting a little bit more rhythm, uh, continuity to his game. You know, you look at the last probably three, four games, his minutes has really gone up. Last two games, they've really gone up minute-wise. So uh, he's playing himself back into some rhythm. And again, it's very obvious we need him to be solid force like he's playing now. We need we need that seven and one and seven and two from him. You guys were having trouble hitting shots early. It seemed like Josh was able to, to change the game a little bit just by getting in the lane. He was the one guy when you don't make shots and you think about it, our perimeter guys, who's the one guy that can go beat people? Josh. You know, we don't have a lot of consistent guys in that perimeter who can just go beat you off at bounce. And again, that bounce is the most difficult thing to defend. And Josh is one of those guys that's really good at that. In the first half, you know, he was, he was really attacking that rim. I think he had 14 at halftime. Didn't get as many opportunities the second half. Uh, but, he, again, he, that's his strength. That's who he is. Uh, we need him tacking off that bounce. Um, when he does, he gets to the free throw line. For the most part, he's a good free throw shooter. Anything else? Or anything else? One more thing. Mike, you can ask two more things. Go ahead. Thank you. Um, I know you touched on some of the things that you liked tonight, including the win. But besides the win, is there one thing that you saw from looking in your eyes from the players that you liked the most? You know, um, my good or bad, you know, I like for a team. I, I don't ever really see a, a, a urgency. Uh, consistently, and that's good and bad. You know, I think at times we just think we're going to find a way to win. We're going to find a way to make plays. We're going to find a way for somebody to do something. Um, and, you know, I'd like to see when it gets a little tighter. I'd like to see a little more look the other way. You know, the confidence is great. You know, I like confidence. But, again, I like that, I like that little – urgency and that little toughness and, you know, understanding that situation. Hey, we, we got to find a way to, you know, play at another level and not just think we're going to keep playing sometimes and we're going to make enough plays or get enough stops to win the game. Uh, and that's the way it's been a lot. We find ways to make some plays at the end. But I do think we have been a lot more efficient offensively when that game is on the line. You know, you can go back over these last four or five games, and that game's gotten tight. Uh, I know last, the last game we were 8 for 10 in overtime. Um, tonight, the second half, you know, we shoot, you know, 52% in the second half. And again, you know, that's, and that's without shooting that three-point ball very well. So, again, I'm just looking for more consistency, more rhythm in what we're doing. Again, we're changing some lineups again. Monte in there, getting Galen back in there some. 
getting some more consistency and rhythm and chemistry while we're doing a little bit more, Mike. All right. Is that good, Is that good guys? Thank you. Give me them scores again around the league. What